Hey guys and welcome back to another video here with Crafty Mama. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how I made um, and put together this business binder. Um, now in previous videos, I do I, I have um, done like order books, appointment books, um, things like that where I bound it with the cinch machine. Um, now I've gone through myself two order books and I do have customers who have also gone through quite a few order books as well. And I'm like, there has to be a way that I can do this differently so that the pages can be refillable because with the books, once I bind it with the coils, it's kind of, you know, I'm not going to uncoil it to add pages to it. I would just give you a whole nother book. Um, so I was trying to think of ways, um, <clears throat> to do this so that the pages could be refillable so that you just wouldn't have to keep purchasing binders, but I mean, I'm sorry. So you wouldn't have to keep purchasing books, but rather just purchase pages and insert them. So I came up with the business binder, which is basically just a three ring binder, um, with different sections. And when your section gets full, you can either keep the pages and just add to it, or you can take out your old pages, um, file them away to keep for your records, and then insert the new pages. So that's what I'm going to show you guys um, what I did today. If you can hear my printer in the background, sorry. Um, I'm printing out my pages from um, for the binder so I can put it together for you guys. Um, but this is a binder that I'm creating for myself. This is my cover here that I've done. Um, I'm not going to go into detail how I designed it um, today. I, if you guys want to see how I designed this cover, let me know. And I'll do that in another video. Um, I'm just showing you the pages that I designed in Canva here. Um, this is going to be my cover. And it's just, you know, for the binders, they have that um, where you can just slide a piece of paper into it and that'll be your cover. So I'm just going to print this on regular cardstock and then I'm going to insert it into the cover of my binder. Um, and I am going to be putting the binder together on camera so you guys can see it as well. I'm just showing you how I designed it in camera first. Um, this is going to be my first section, which is um, t-shirt orders. <laughs> this is a t-shirt order form. I did not make this form. I purchased this um I honestly cannot remember who I purchased it from. Um, if I re I'm going to look through my emails and see if I can find it. Um, if I can find the information, I'll put it in the description box down below of where I got these, who I purchased these templates from. Um, but this is a t-shirt order form. It is, you can edit it um, once you purchase it from her. Like I said, I will try to find her information and then put it in my description box so you guys can order from her if that's what you want to do. Um, but this is the t-shirt order form for the first section. My second section is going to be uh, book orders because I said I... Sorry about that, guys. My son came in here and wanted me to open his Play-Doh. <laughs> um, but this is going to be my next session, which is book orders. Um, I do order books. I do um, prayer books, sermon notes, um, appointment books. I do all different types of books. Um, so this is just going to be my book order section. Any type of book is going to go in here. These are my book order forms. <clears throat> And then the third project that I do a lot is logos. Um, and these are going to be my logo project uh, sections. So I'm just going to get everything. And these cover pages here, the logo projects, the book order, and then the t-shirt order, I'm going to be printing these on sticker paper. I do have um, the dividers. I'm going to be putting these on the front of the dividers so that when you look at the cover of the divider, instead of it being just a clear divider or, you know, like a red or a yellow divider, you'll see this page instead of that color or the clear one, whichever one you buy. I bought the um, clear ones. So you'll, I'm just going to put this on top of the divider um, and I'm going to print this on sticker paper. So I'm going to get everything printed up and I'm going to come back and show you how I put it together. So stick around. All right, guys, I am back here. I do have everything printed up and I did um, hole punch it as well already. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it together for you guys and show you everything that I used. Um, for starters, this is um, the binder that I use. It's just um, 
it's an up and up binder that I got from um, Target. I think it was like two or three dollars. I got it from Target. I'm using a pink one. So it's just a regular three ring binder. Um, these are the dividers that I have already in here. They're just clear dividers. I want to say, I can't remember the brand. Let me see if I have more. Avery. These are the dividers I used. They're Avery, regular. They come with five tabs, um, clear dividers. Um, this is the sticker paper that I use for my cover pages. It's the um, Avery brand uh, matte white sticker paper. Um, and then I just used a regular three hole punch that I also got from Target. Okay, so that's everything that I used. Um, here is my cover sheet. It was just printed on regular cardstock um, paper, just regular white cardstock. And I'm just going to insert this right into the cover of my binder, like this. So now that's going to be the cover of my binder. Okay. And then for the divider pages here so this is going to be my first page which is going to be my t-shirt orders move this out the way and this is my t-shirt paper I'm just going to take the, um, the backing off and I'm going to stick it right on there see it so on there I did kind of cover the holes a little bit let me see if it'll still go in and it will so it still goes it's like half the holes are about halfway covered but um it still allowed me to put them in there so I'm just gonna go with that okay Now I'm going to go ahead and here are my pages. I got, I got 50 pages. They're front and back. I just printed these on regular um, 24 pound uh, white uh, copy paper. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put them on here. And now I'm going to do the next section which is my book orders. I'm gonna get my, my divider here. And I'm gonna take the backing off of my sticker paper. I gotta stand up so I can see and make sure it's straight. All right, and I put it on there the Mommy, same I way. Want you starting the game. Okay, give me one second, baby. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry about that. My son's TV show went off. And he wanted me to turn it back on for him. But I just put my book order um, divider into the binder. So now I'm going to put my book order forms. 
in here. So now I have my book order forms in there. And now I'm going to do the last section that I have, which is my logo projects. stick the forms in there. And then we're going to close it up. Okay. So now the book is done. If you want to add a four section or different sections, you can put whatever you want in here. I'm just sh showing you how or the idea that I came up with so that you can refill it. Okay, so here's my cover. And here's my first section, which is my t-shirt order forms. Here's my pages. And my second section my book orders and my pages and then my third section my logo projects and my pages so when these pages are done I can um, remove them and file them away from my records I know I keep records of everything that I do just in case I need to look back at them for whatever reason um, so even if it's by month, like I can put them in my, my filing cabinet by month. Um, and I just have all my sheets and I can refill my binder without having to purchase or make and bind and coil, you know, a whole nother book. Um, so for me, this works. Um, I definitely hope this works out for you guys too. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely drop them down below. Um, if you have any video ideas for me, um, drop those down below and I'll try to get them down, try to get them out for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope everybody, everybody's staying safe until the next video.